Hey everybody, my name is Karthik Subramaniam. I'm a real estate entrepreneur here in Southern California. I'm the founder of a very large real estate education company. Absolutely love what I do. I have a passion for the business. I'm happy to have found it. Follow my journey here on YouTube. Hey everybody, Karthik Subramaniam over at Adi Schools. Wanted to bring you a legislative update for 2018. Remember, if you're a real estate broker and you're collecting money on behalf of your clients, maybe you have a property management business, you have an escrow company, maybe you're taking earnest money or good faith deposits from your clients, that money has to be kept in a totally separate account called a trust account. Now, if you put it that if you put that money in your own account, of course, you're guilty of something called commingling, a pretty serious violation of the real estate law. But if you're collecting money, all that client money has to go in a totally separate account called a trust account. Now, on that trust account, there are only three people on the planet that the Bureau of Real Estate allows to withdraw from a broker's trust account. One person, of course, is the broker herself or himself. They could withdraw from the trust account. An appointed salesperson could withdraw from the trust account or an unlicensed employee of the broker. Maybe you have an unlicensed assistant or a company controller or like an accountant that doesn't have a real estate license. That unlicensed person could withdraw from the trust account, but that unlicensed person has to be covered by a fidelity bond. That way, if that unlicensed person goes crazy and withdraws from the trust account, there's no risk of harm to the public because that unlicensed person is covered by a bond. Now, sometimes brokers found it challenging to find these fidelity bonds with like a zero deductible. So a new bill that went into effect January 1st of this year is going to allow a broker that has an unlicensed signatory on the trust account, if they can't find a traditional fidelity bond, they can get a separate insurance policy that would work very similar to a bond, but in case that unlicensed person goes crazy and withdraws from the trust account, the insurance policy will cover that unlicensed employee's theft. So now a broker doesn't need to find a fidelity bond again. They're able to just get an insurance policy that would cover that unlicensed signatory in case they stole out of the trust account. Now, in the description box, I'm gonna put up a full link to this uh, bill that allows a broker to get the insurance covering the unlicensed employee. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'd love to connect with you. Subscribe to the channel too. Subscribing, of course, allows me to make a lot more videos and bring more value to the real estate community. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank